respected chairman advisor vice chairman our beloved principal vice principal dean of academics and today's prime speaker professor dr jt minolin james and uh, last but not least all the participants who are all being gathered here for this webinar on research criterias in composites i am very glad to welcome you all for this session before getting into the session i would like to thank our management our uh, principal sir and uh, vice principal and uh, dean of academics hod of our uh, department and all the staff members for uh, giving their full support and motivation in organizing such a seminar uh, which will be based on uh, research trust areas in composites now i uh, take it the privilege in uh, calling our uh, principal to few, uh, uh, sorry to share some few about a uh, few words about this webinar i call our principal sir to uh, speak some words about this webinar. Uh, please a very good evening to you all I am Dr. T. Balamurugan, Principal of Arasa Engineering College, Kumbagonam, Tamil Nadu. Our college was started in the year 2000 with three undergraduate programs. From the inception, we have focused to give from the inception we have focused to give our best quality education. So as a result of that, now we are offering eight undergraduate programs and four graduate programs. So in order to recognize our good service, the National Assessment and Accreditation Council gave accreditation to our college. And uh, most of the eligible programs were accredited by the National Board of Accreditation. The University Grants Commission recognized our college under 2F and 12B categories. Most of our students used to, to bear the university ranks every year. In the last academic year, one of our students got the university first rank. And uh, today, I am very happy to know that the Department of Mechanical Engineering is organizing a webinar on used to two stars composites. Because nowadays, all the researchers and academicians, they are trying to do their research work in the latest fields and latest technologies. But most of them are struggling a lot to identify the thrust areas. So at this juncture, giving an outline in the thrust areas is highly useful to researchers and academicians. So I congratulate the Department of Mechanical Engineering for choosing the research thrust areas in composites. And I request all the participants to effectively utilize this opportunity so that they can choose a clearly defined problem. And on behalf of our college, I wholeheartedly once again welcome the resource person, Dr. J.T. Vinolin Jeffers, Senior Professor, who effectively utilized this of opportunity on mechanical engineering of Kalasalingam Academy of Research and Education. And I also extend my warm welcome to all the participants. So with this, my best wishes for the success of this webinar. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, wonderful and uh, encapturing introduction about this webinar. Now, I would like to introduce our prime speaker, Dr. J.T. Minolin James, Senior Professor and a Dean of uh, School of Automotive and Mechanical Engineering, Kalasalingam Academy of Research and Engineering. Before introducing our uh, chief guest, I just want to thank him because uh, 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 without any hesitation, he just uh, gave his consent to be the uh, prime speaker of this uh, event. Uh, uh, such a kind-hearted person and uh, uh, 
is having lot of uh, uh, skills in this uh, skills and he is one of the frontier in the field of uh, composites and uh, uh, we feel uh, we, feel, we feel honored to be uh, to uh, start to be the part of this uh, event so i once again uh, thank you sir for your ready assistance tendered by uh, you sir and uh, uh, with this i would like to add his uh, academic qualification he did his uh, ug degree in mechanical engineering from manonmaniam sundarana university in 1997 he has completed his masters in production engineering from anamala university in 1999 He got his doctorate in 2004 in the area of composite deposition at IIT Madras. Further, Professor did holds lot of achievement in his uh, domain. Especially, he has completed three DST funded projects, uh, and Professor published more than 125 research articles, which includes 65 of them in international journal papers. And uh, his area of interest includes. high performance composite materials machining of uh, hard materials optimization techniques etc and uh, with this uh, i don't want to take uh, much of the time as we have to be here more from our speaker now i leave this forum to our speaker uh, to uh, hear from uh, so please uh, go with your uh, encapturing speaker and uh, the forum is all yours thank you okay thank you thank you very much uh, so vignesh uh, thanks to the principal uh, for being a part of uh, this particular uh, program okay so let me check um, so the slide is uh, visible yes sir yes sir it's visible sir fine fine okay okay so i'll disable participants annotation so that uh, unwanted things cannot happen fine yes, fine so um, good evening all of you uh i am vinolin from kalasalingam academy of research and education thanks mr dinesh for the uh, introduction and thanks to the principal and management of arasu engineering college for providing opportunity for the uh, uh, participants to have interaction uh, in the new domain uh, uh, like composites okay so i'm very happy to be a part of this particular webinar series and uh, today's discussion we are mainly focusing on uh, research thrust areas in composite before going into that particular talk uh, this is the place where we are living okay um, so uh, kalasalingam academy of research and education which is situated in virudhunagar district near shrivilli puttur okay and uh, hopefully uh, you please go through the website you can understand the uh, credibilities and other things and the domain where we are all working the school of automotive and mechanical engineering has its own even in within the school having three different departments like automobile engineering aeronautical engineering and mechanical engineering and we have seven research uh, centers within the school like uh, advanced materials biomaterials uh, machining centers okay condition monitoring uh, co2 sequestration so different uh, domains of people are working all the participants you are all welcome to our place if we can have a collaborative work with you all okay please do not hesitate to come to our institution you can have you can share your uh, thoughts so we can uh, do a collaborative work uh, as a, a person in the field of research in composite material what i felt we also uh, grow in this particular path with with the proper support of collaboration because collaboration is the one which is very much essential for all the researchers also i uh, gathered information from the uh, um, organizer saying that this particular team the participants were from different uh, uh, groups like uh, doctorates are there the people those who are about to start their research they are also present and also students are also there so i am not taking you to a very high end uh, uh, research thrust areas of composite but few very uh, simple thing but uh, still there is a focus to do research okay as our principals are mentioned in the initial introduction the new domain all the people wanted to do their research okay so the composite is the one hopefully you are uh, you are under uh, anna university i guess okay in anna university uh, you, you might have seen many people they just jumped into the composite materials okay i do not know is out of curiosity out of uh, a misunderstanding or whatever it may be we do not know but many people they are much interested to do their research in the field of composite material 
but sometimes what happens it become a routine continuation of uh, ug level work so at the end of uh, their doctorates or at the end of their research they are struggling to get their paper to be published in the quality journals okay even now uh, in 2020 if you see the journal still a very old literature started in the in the uh, in 1990s still there is option to get published okay so how the quality publication can be possible uh, by a proper alignment of our research towards composite that is the main focus of this one so let us go into the uh, details let me give a, a small introduction people those who are already in composite it is not a new one maybe a few people if you are not in the field of composite materials the this is a composite uh, with a combination of two materials with a different physical and chemical properties normally we should not be misunderstood with alloy recently i gave a webinar talk to another one college that's almost similar topics were taken if the participants are similar for these two lectures a few slides overlapping in the introduction you will uh, get it okay so normally uh, we have a alloy okay alloy and a composite sometimes it is getting misunderstood see composite materials we are checking two or more i mean it need not be only two it can be uh, multiple materials can be uh, combined and to get a favorable result for example uh, the the uh, very simple example of composite is aluminum silicon carbide every old metal metal matrix composite okay the uh, early stages of a flight people started going for aluminum or wood or aluminum or aluminum alloys after aluminum alloy they started using aluminum composites now they have uh, the advanced level of composite they are into but when you talk about mmc composite aluminum and silicon carbide was the very famous and uh, still people are doing research into this particular domain and uh, aluminum silicon carbide by we are combining by taking the advantage of aluminum taking the advantage of uh, silicon carbide see as you are all aware aluminum is a low weight material and uh, uh, strength is also low so i'm taking the advantage of aluminum it is a low weight is my uh, advisable strength advisable factor and uh, uh, silicon carbide which may be harder but it is brittle in nature so i am take i am developing a new material which may be lighter in weight and stronger in strength this combination we wanted to develop quite unfortunately knowingly or unknowingly other parameters can also come into picture you can able to create a composite which is high weight low strength composite okay so when you develop a composite the important thing is what are the things you are combining is it is immaterial or it's a secondary importance are we able to combine the good qualities of uh, the matrix and reinforcement so this is a domain all the researchers need to focus mainly and uh, co coming to the alloy and the composite as you are aware a famous alloy is iron carbon because iron carbon equilibrium diagram anybody those who are interested in materials is the first one to learn okay uh, iron and carbon as we are all aware it is taking the interstitial location of iron so i am taking carbon atom uh, being is a smaller atom compared to iron atom it is occupying the interstitial position but when you talk about composite you read all the papers research papers you will not see any kind of interstitial solid solution or substitutional things those factors will not come into picture in the case of composite but in alloy there should be a regular particular uh, rules we need to be followed and mostly alloys in the metals to metal combination will have it and composite need not be uh, the case even polymer with the metal metal with the polymers metal with ceramic ceramic with uh, uh, clusters many different possibilities are there that is the reason composite is one of the domain still need to be explored okay so this is one of the area and uh, we are all much aware composites having metal matrix composite ceramic as well as polymeric composite okay still some advanced composites are also there but these are all the basic three types of composite okay let us go into uh, uh, take a composite we have a matrix and reinforcement in a alloy system we have a solvent and a solute uh, in the case of composite we have a matrix and a reinforcement matrix can be a, a, a dominated one or content wise it is more and reinforcement is the one which is added into that this basic 
concept of composite is getting disturbed by a newer composite now it's almost equally the quantities of matrix and fillers are almost equal sometimes in few cases the fillers are taking more weight percentage than the matrix very few cases but normally matrix is a major constituent and we have a uh, filler can be uh, uh, different things a filler can be a fiber it can be a particles okay even fibers can be a synthetic fibers or a natural fibers and particulates you can take any particles anything 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 comes into a particles even you take a metal powder embed the metal powders into a polymeric it is possible for you to create a, a conductive polymers so uh, it's like a game and uh, we need to play this game very carefully then it will be quite interesting and normally the common matrix in metal cases we are, uh, the aluminum is a very famous and uh, uh, hopefully relatively older kind of matrix okay still you can find in 2020 2019 also you can see lots and lots of papers which is getting published in aluminum matrix composite so that means still the areas uh, identified gap uh, need to be there and the lacuna are available uh, it is possible for us to explore that also and magnesium is one of uh, uh, is comparatively tougher why the reason being everybody is going into the aluminum composite one basic reason is it uh, simplicity so it is very simple for uh, uh, young researchers to prepare the furnace even on his own he can uh, prepare the furnace in their institution or in their place and they can uh, prepare the aluminum uh, composite in relatively better quality but magnesium composite is not uh, like this it is risk factors are there okay and the uh, copper is also being uh, uh, addressed by the literatures and this is again is a new one it's a little bit costly very few uh, i mean specific applications people started going for the titanium based matrix and uh, Another one is a super alloy. It could be a, uh, it could be ACU seven or nine or uh, any 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 uh, uh, material which is used in tankers or missiles. So a super alloy normally the at at very high temperature the hardness should be higher. So we call it as a hot hardness. So uh, we have uh, many super alloys into uh, things, and super alloys are also used as a matrix. in developing a composite and recently people started using a e material maybe a beryllium based uh, one which is an electronic based uh, components people started uh, creating components from e materials it's not uh, it's from a, basically from a beryllium kind of thing and this is more common and if 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 you wanted to start your research in the field of my metal matrix composite okay hopefully this this is one of the good option and uh, copper matrix composite is also good option and this is relatively costly and this is somewhat risky so um, understand the literature before going into this one understand the literature and enter into this field especially when you wanted to select aluminum matrix composite identifying gap is a very big uh, deal because uh, people started working from the uh, uh 1995 or 96 you can find good number of papers in aluminum matrix composite but uh, uh, even today we have very good new kind of reinforcements which are getting added see normally in composites in a micro level micro size uh, powders are being uh, added nano size we can add you can attract the people by saying the word nano but the dispersion issues are there when you are preparing a composite so this fabrication micro uh, i mean micron level the powders with uh, or the particles with a micron level uh, the fabrication part is relatively easy you can go for a normal stir casting method or even you go for a, a powder metallurgy route or liquid metallurgy route uh, preparation of composite is comparatively easier but when you go for a nano composite the dispersion is a very big issue sometimes researchers they just wanted to jump into this field of nano and they said we wanted to Uh, create nano powders uh, uh, and uh, we wanted to prepare a composite okay my my advice to those people please do not enter into the complexities preparation of nano powder uh, itself uh, is a good research maybe it's like a two different uh, uh, verticals you are into that this is a mistake sometimes people the early researchers are doing they wanted to get all the attractive words into their uh, uh, domain and they wanted to create their uh, thesis 
okay that is one, there is also one of the reason why the phd is getting delayed even if you are so sincere on your work your phd is getting delayed because of the improper selection of these thing because the creation of nano even now even today in 2020 so someone is saying i have prepared a nano powder uh, is still is in a doubt, doubtful things are you preparing a nano powders are you preparing a nano clusters okay because even when we start our work in 2004 2005 we had the same issue still that issue is continuing okay even uh, many nano clays were uh, are misunderstood as nano powders nano clay is different nano powders are different please understand the literature is very carefully and go into this, this nano field uh, okay fine if you get uh, nano powders or if you are able to prepare a nano powder the second thing is what is the kind of uh, uh, distribution it is possible for you to get okay it's a somewhat uh, tougher job but there are focus need to be focused these are all the area still need to be focused many newer methodologies are also reported by literature so people can uh, definitely instead of micro go to the nano this this could be a, a one take off uh, from this particular region and aluminum composite the usage of fibers in uh, metal matrix composite see for example normally uh, even the olden days in 2000 Uh, when we talk about the uh, composite, that time it started uh, booming, and uh, people used to say ALSACP is a particulate. They used to mention CP is a uh, particulate uh, composite. But even today, the usage of fibers, okay, in the polymers. When you talk about a polymer matrix composite, the usage of fiber is heavy, heavy. Even uh, natural fibers or synthetic fibers. okay different varieties of fibers were tried with uh, polymer matrix composite but still in metal matrix composite this is a big welcome people can definitely go into this with a proper uh, reason it's not just uh, uh, going into this field by uh, uh, understanding the welcom because when you have a particulate the uh, strengthening mechanism will be different when it is a fiber the uh, fiber the strengthening mechanism will be different okay so understand the strengthening mechanism are you going for a dispersion kind of hardening mechanism or a precipitation kind of hardening what is your post curing methodology you are using be understanding all those things go into this field you have many good openings in the field of fibers it could be a short fibers or it could be a long fibers okay you will be quite surprised to understand even the natural fibers were started embedded in the into the uh, metal matrix composite okay uh, fabrication part is very very tough because uh, because of the uh, temperature and all but uh, some, some some part of the world the people are started trying these uh, things also another one important thing how the viscous viscous are single crystals how the viscous can be reinforced with a composite the possibility is whatever the possibilities i am mentioning here it is applicable for uh, not only for metal matrix composite but also for ceramic as well as polymer matrix composite okay but surprising note is a uh, natural fibers entered into the metal matrix uh, composite is a surprise note okay but it is possible for you to explore the uh, usage of single crystals okay so the viscous as you are all aware the viscous are having a very good strength compared to the bulk one for example you take a, a steel uh in a normal polycrystalline steel uh, uh and the single crystal steel okay this particular single crystal uh, uh steel the strength will be incomparable with the uh, uh, polycrystalline material polycrystal definitely there are uh, there is a weak because of the uh, grain boundaries okay whenever you have more and more grain boundaries these are the weaker uh, regions whenever the pulse is applied this is a region will get some disturbance immediately but that problem will be somewhat solved in the case of viscous so viscous were also started uh, implemented in the in composite also another one new domain let me here uh, sorry sorry uh, uh, let me here is the remaining thing okay uh, and another one important thing people started using uh, shape memory alloys or shape memory constituents into the composite so previously we said shape memory alloy now these alloys were also uh embedded into the composite in different forms it could be a encapsulation method or a simple dispersion method in all these methods people started doing this work hopefully uh, the the fiber long fiber viscous and shape memory are quite uh, new one 
okay i cannot say it is completely a new one people started exploring the possibilities but there are lots and lots of opportunity for the young researchers to look into this particular region for example even if you are interested to go for a funding uh, maybe the shape memory co combination viscous combination with this uh, uh, matrix can be tried out so there are uh, still there are opportunities for the uh, senior researchers also okay and uh, uh, sometimes people started overlap with uh, super alloy with uh, shape memory there are good number of uh, papers are already available but you, you can attract the defense field with this kind of combination okay and uh, let me talk about uh, this more on uh, fiber and reinforcement again uh, the we talk about particles and fibers is a very old sicp alumina okay and boron carbide zircon almost all are somewhat comparatively old but these fibers started getting into the field okay i take a, a boron carbide fiber fibers into the metal matrix composite which is creating a new insight in the air uh, domain of composite material so wherever you just uh, refer the literatures wherever the fibers i mean the particulate composites were there just explore the strength of the individual fibers and try to explore the possibility towards mmc uh, hopefully you will get a, a new beginning in this particular domain as i was mentioning earlier even though it is a very old uh, uh, composite still uh, much of area need to be explored good opportunity you will get it okay and uh, still more advances in the field of composite uh, we talk about uh, one aluminium or one sic uh, silicon carbide or alumina or whatever it may be now we talk about multifunctional composite materials and structures mfc fms it's a very fast growing field okay normally the reason why we are going for a, a composite material as i mentioned you earlier to get some good qualities i said low weight so weight is very low and the strength is good and stiffness is fine okay the keeping these two things these two are contradictory uh, properties in mind we are entering into the field of composite now we are they are they started thinking in a uh, in a in a broader way not only only two one or two even in addition to these weight reduction uh, good strength in addition to this are we talking about energy harvesting is there possibility of self healing or sensing or actuation okay or sometimes we are going for this as a protective layer Be because we have a great difficult great great difficulty when you are going for a coatings into a material the interfacial strength of any material we have a big issue because normally in coating you say a bulk bulk material which is coated on something on the top even a very high strength coating uh, when you when you focus on the interfacial thing this one and this one will have a very big issue the mismatching or or, or misalignment or we say the boundary between the uh, substrate and the coated material creating big issues to the people and the lifetime is getting affected to get rid of these things people started using composites as one of the protective layer also okay so this, this is another one big area uh, people can uh, look into this okay some of uh, some of the cases i'll explain you in detail later in addition hopefully uh, fgmmc is not a, a very new one but still uh, need to be explored functionally graded metal matrix composite okay so functionally graded composite normally is a centrifugal casting uh, we are uh, preparing this okay now we even with the powder metallurgy route people started preparing functionally graded composite so with respect to domain the uh, performance of the composite will be different especially break shoes a specific application we need a ductile core and a harder uh, uh, surface so a different contradictory uh, performance see for example it should be ductile and it should be brittle which is highly contradiction right almost similar kind of uh, uh, properties can be derived uh, with this new kind of composite okay so uh, the intention is when i go for a new kind of composite uh, let us understand why i am doing this because nowadays people started going for a hybridization everybody uh, wanted to say so i am doing a hybrid composite a okay, hybrid composite the first in the scalar first decimating to the final viva one question which you are most people 99% of the people fail to answer why there is a need for hybridization 
for example people may say i am using this fiber and this fiber this particle and combinedly it's like a conventional mixture okay it cannot be a composite without any proper reason please do not select any uh, hybrid kind end of thing i can select i can say i am adding one constituents for a self healing effect another one for a sensing purpose another one major constituents i am for, for a strength okay now i can able to justify i am adding a silicon carbide into this to increase the strength i am adding some one into this one to increase the self healing capability i am adding one to get a sensing or to increase the tribological behavior or like a uh, um uh, maybe graphite can be added to increase the uh, tribology or i'm adding this one to improve the damping factor so understand i'm having a particulate one what is the reason of adding particulate two what is the reason i'm adding particulate three what is the reason i'm adding if i'm taking particulate two fiber why i am converting the particulate into fiber what is the need for that particular fiber and particle 2 to fiber particle 3 to fiber if you are able to get a combination even here itself i could say 1 2 3 1 2 3 combinations are available with you okay this is more than sufficient for you to uh, prepare a very good proposal or a, a very good uh, proposal for a, a phd level thesis Okay. having this understanding and so uh, even sometimes this is happening with the senior researchers also okay uh, just by understanding some uh, uh, reviewing some articles or reviewing some literature coming to the idea that adding this one this one okay that may not be a good composite selection okay and even you go for a functionally graded composite or a multifunctional uh, composite you have to be very careful but these are the places where we are going to add uh, three four different uh, uh, particles or fibers or different reinforcements need to be added into this okay so this is the one i have my surprise to note okay the uh, thanks to the author okay acknowledging the author uh, this is available in um, uh, open access okay you can uh, see how many, there are different things even natural waste material see one of the intention or uh, today uh, for, uh, for example if something is polluting the environment okay fine and remove that one and uh, convert into a usable product we call it as a waste to wealth okay uh, converting the waste material or converting the material which is almost uh, polluting the environment i am uh, using it for a, a particular purpose okay so quite surprisingly these are the fibers were started uh, reinforced with the metal okay the fibers were much available for polymer composite even last uh, 10 15 years people are working in a very good uh, uh, number of researchers are working in this domain, but quite surprisingly, MMC it is getting attracted by natural waste materials. Also, the industrial waste material. Even our team is working with the fly, uh, fly ash and red mud, okay, and uh, electron furnace dust, okay, mine waste. These are the domain our researchers are also working. So this is another one uh, domain you can be able to explore. Okay, so uh, identify the industry. So for identifying the industry, what is needed, you visit that industry. Okay, before starting your research, better you visit that industry, understand what are the things they are wasting and do a, a composition analysis. And in that particular waste, what are all the useful ingredients are there and try to understand what the possibilities are converting into a composite. Okay, then, uh, uh, it's not only a research, you are able to give a, a good opening to the company, you are converting their waste into a usable one, uh, it's like a consultancy also, right? So senior researchers in this, uh, as an audience, those who are available, you please visit uh, many industries and uh, see, for example, this fly, fly ash, even uh, long back it, it was added into a DST as a special call, fly ash uh, uh, management, right? Okay, how the fly ash can be uh, used in other domains. The fly, if you go to the literature, the fly ash will be uh, tried in many, many different domains. Okay, but other industries are also available. Even the waste to glass, it's not much explored, not much explored. Okay, so recycle the hard particles, not much explored. 
so there are still there are very big openings for the researchers in this particular field and now it's not only our research is not only helping you to get your phd or it's not only helping to get some uh, funding from uh, industry or other places it is also useful to the uh, environment you are also serving good thing to the, our nation so uh, in that angle uh, we need to start work in this particular domain see aluminum chips it could be aluminum can and the ferrous can you go to where uh, you go you go to your uh, machine shop being a mechanical engineer you go to your machine shop just observe how many scraps you are able to get okay identify those scraps you can recycle those scraps okay there are good opportunities go to the industry get all their scrap and convert into a different uh, uh, composite okay so even high performance composite can also be formed from this uh, combination and coming to self healing is one of the uh, recent uh, recently people started giving him much importance to this domain okay and there is a combination of self healing and shape memory okay so independently also it can work i can use with uh, shape memory alloy okay or shape memory material or a self healing both can be a different domain or i'm combining shape memory with the self healing towards composition i mean you may be aware okay senior people in this team may be aware what is uh, shape memory what is self healing okay so normally in the shape memory is reversible it is reversible thermoelastic uh, uh, phase transformation is uh, the specific thing is normally the martin static phase to austenite austenite to martin site which is happening uh, just i wanted to uh, take you to the basic uh, not in the uh, shape memory in the basic logic uh, we all uh, aware of the cct cover what we are uh, doing in our uh, undergraduate level material science okay uh, see uh, before uh, above recrystallization temperature which is in austenite okay when i'm giving a drastic cooling uh, i i am getting a phase which is called as martin site we call this as a thermal reaction okay it's not isothermal reaction all the other things okay i i am just cutting the nose i am getting a pure light or a bainite okay maybe coats or a fine pure light whatever it may be now this is a combination austenite is converted into a martin site okay as we are all aware martin site is a bct in structure body center tetragonal okay the uh, bitter part of this formation is uh, it is highly brittle and uh, almost it cannot be used for our in our engineering application even though the hardness is very high okay uh, the, the application side we cannot use because it is highly brittle so by chance if it is happening uh, what we normally do we wanted to prepare a tempered martin site okay so we take uh, uh, we we uh, just get a martin site and we are reheating and uh, getting a tempered martin site hopefully uh, we'll get some benefit out of this Uh, we can get uh, relatively higher uh, strength and comparatively uh, okay the performance uh, seems to be better now uh, i am not uh, directly link this one with the uh, shape memory combination here the uh, one which we studied in um, uh, steel the is not actually a reversible process once austenite is converted into martin site you cannot convert back the martin site into austenite only possibilities are uh, we can get some uh, uh, tempered martin static phase but here in shape memory uh, shape memory maybe a nickel titanium combination uh, we I mean, famous one is nitinol right okay there is a possibility uh, to convert the martin site into austenite and uh, get a reversible uh, reaction also okay so one time it is a stress, it could be a a uh, thermal activation or it could be a stress based activation that can be happening okay now the change can happen uh, to get a lower damping characteristics or in austenitic stage you can get a super elastic behavior now we are hybriding uh, this shape memory into this uh, composite okay so uh, just imagine i have a composite matrix with a shape memory okay now the shape memory uh, particles or shape memory comp uh, portions there is a possibility to get a different uh, uh, different uh, phase transformation when the phase transformation is different when it is with a different phase the performance will be different okay so if there is a, a minor crack will uh, which is started created 
okay as you are all aware as per the grift theory okay uh, the tip uh, the tip of the crack the stress concentration will be heavy okay now once the crack uh, started formed okay if nearby there is a shape memory composition cases okay there is a possibility to fill this gap i am not going into the technical aspects uh, in detail but uh, uh, it's like uh, you take a bone if there is a small fracture in the bone okay now we are not giving any medication for that uh, bone curing when you when you keep it very closer in due course of time it is getting cured okay so it's like a self healing right so similar concept it is a mimic uh, a mimic of uh, uh, the one from our natural process only and from that uh, today uh, research uh, they started uh, reinforcing self healing uh, sorry uh, shape memory uh, alloy into the composite to get more self healing is normal things or it can be a, a encapsulation inside we have a, a, a shape memory thing okay even to reduce the temperature okay when the heat is there it become liquid and the temperature comes down so with a different different perspective people started working in this domain so this is one of the uh, very very fantastic area uh, to work but uh, is a little bit uh, difficult to uh, do the composite okay so thanks to good number of researchers this is a paper to be acknowledged and many researchers they have done the work i just take you to the processing mostly see here maybe a hard pressing hard pressing okay it is a normal uh, process people can work we can it is very easy for us to work with a hard pressing or even with a bacon uh, assisted kind of hard press it is possible for you to generate even uh, with a fine layer level project uh, we can uh, prepare this press and you can uh, use uh, you can develop a shape memory in your place itself the thing is uh, Uh, when we are depending the depending on some others uh, resources if there is no collaboration with the people the biggest issue for you is you cannot do whatever you want for example uh, uh, when you wanted to work with a particular alloy it is not a one day process you need to optimize many things so let me take you to uh, that slide i'll explain to you uh, uh, with the proper identification of the process parameter then only you can get a very nice product now today's issue most of the young researchers uh, due to the lack of availability of the resources uh, they are depending on some industries they are paying huge money to get one sample or two sample and there is no uh, uh, proper assurance that the sample is uh, optimized to one so that is not leading to a good kind of research okay so that is a big big uh, mistake sometimes we are doing so these are all the hard pressing process start preparing from your i final year level uh, student project and explore the possibility uh, uh, within your institution you try to explore this right or otherwise get connected with some good institution where you can explore uh, collaboration and uh, go there do optimization okay because uh, maybe i'm seeing a literature i am understanding this is optimized to value i am preparing a composite doesn't mean that you will also get a same kind of uh, result or you will also having a optimized one there is no guarantee on that okay and uh, due to this lack getting published in papers also getting affected okay and we have good advantages of uh, mmc it is a very simple thing compared to polymers we have very good advantage especially the radiation uh, resistance this is one of the main area to be explored okay and coming to polymer matrix composite we are almost uh, is one hour time another 15 minutes more uh, let me make it very fast from uh, now onwards okay so polymer matrix composite the matrix is a polymer and reinforced can mean, can be a powder or uh, i mean particles or uh, fibers okay here the usage of fibers as i mentioned earlier it is heavy uh, maybe a glass fiber carbon this is one of the domain uh, uh, even Uh, you get a very high strength material especially when you are working when you wanted to work with uh, drdo laboratories or isros okay uh, better you explore this possibility of working with the carbon fiber composite or here also s yes, glass okay with a uh, relatively higher performance uh, glass fibers can be a boron ceramic okay even uh, people started going into the metal fiber fibers aramid and uh, natural fibers even our team uh we started uh, uh, research uh, research in this particular natural fiber composite in 2005 uh, 
and uh, as of now we tried with around uh, uh, 48 different fibers and uh, we, we were able to explore uh, more than uh, uh, 250 different publication in this particular domain there more, more definitely more than that okay and uh, even there are possibility to use your chicken feathers and the hair even people used uh, bones chicken bones or uh, different bones also they crushed and they used it see th this is uh, possibilities are uh, huge and the process of uh, polymeric based composite are comparatively easier you just uh, try for three different uh, metal ceramic uh, and uh, polymer polymer processing is easier that is also one of the reasons almost uh, 75 percentage of the researchers are entering or uh, jumping into the polymer composite okay and uh, ceramic based composites are relatively difficult to work because the high temperature furnace is needed if the facilities are not available you need to struggle a lot okay so natural fiber definitely uh, very low weight you can get because of the low density okay and uh, uh, the the issue is with uh, hydrophilic in nature and the biggest another one biggest uh, mismatch is there is a polymer matrix and fibers are into this polymer matrix the thing is when you take a fiber okay and you take a polymer the interfacial adhesion is the biggest challenge you know, starting from the beginning of the research and even now uh, people started exploring people are trying to resolve or people are trying to minimize the gap minimize or increasing the uh, i mean addition to a property because the uh, cellulose fibers are hydrophilic in nature the matrix is hydrophobic in nature now when i'm trying to combine hydrophobic with the hydrophilic there obviously there is a mismatch into the system and but but even though it is a problem now this is a big problem for ours also even uh, this is a good research opportunity i'm not saying it is a problem it is a problem to be solved in research okay can be a fiber with matrix and composite we are preparing so these are all the different fibers uh, people uh, can work okay now just i'll give uh, spend uh, two minutes on this see uh, we talk about process parameters okay even uh, the people those are working in the domain of uh, uh, machining even uh, you see grinding wheels uh, it's before christ okay even the research started before christ and even today people started understanding the process parameters and output only okay so likewise even at a composite it is a older one or a newer one still there are possibility to explore what is the type of reinforcement you are using what is the kind of uh, arrangement of reinforcement okay what is the uh, i mean uh, fabrication parameters like uh, machining para sorry machine parameters if you're using a compression molding machine what are the parameters to be addressed and the temperature and exposure see uh, normally when you are going for a matrix normally people are going for a polyester or epoxy and most of the people started jumping into epoxy uh, without understanding the gel time of epoxy okay before entering into the polymer composite please understand the gel timing of the uh, polymers which you are buying okay another one don't do this mistake you store you are the, the, buy this one in uh, bulk amount and store there for six months or ten months De definitely the performance of the mattress will come down this is also one of the big reason a big number of commercialization is not at uh, ready in this particular domain okay and the post curing also there are n number of possibilities uh, going into this real process parameters please do not straight away jump into the optimum optimization technique like taguchi and all try to understand going for a full factorial or try to understand each and every pra process parameters effect on output you take the output maybe you are the uh, the basic outputs maybe your strength maybe a tensile flexural impact okay or you know so you go for a fatigue or a creep okay but there are uh, uh, product oriented outputs need to be explored See, this is the domain uh, we need to think about a product. See, uh, when you wanted to uh, get into a project, okay, funded funded by DST or funded by funding agencies, they are not very much interested only in you know, the basic level research. They wanted to create some product. So when you wanted to prepare a product, the basic level of understanding the performances are very much essential. It cannot be ignored, but that is not sufficient for your research. For example, we prepared a helmet, 
okay so it's not a basic uh, maybe i have a helmet like this okay so as a material as per acm standard i'm taking a bar i'm taking a bar or i'm taking a plate i'm doing a testing need not be this uh, tensile strength may be uh, uh, the, the same as the, this, this particular product when i talk about product it may be different when i'm going for a hard hat which i'm using very much in, uh, important is the the drop test okay so i am slightly deviate uh, deviating from the common testing which is available for example if you wanted to write a research proposal don't uh, don't write i wanted to do a tensile flexural impact testing uh, i i will give uh, what is optimum tensile strength please do not give because people are not at all ready to hear that because this is a basic necessity okay this uh, is a foundation this is a foundation on this foundation try to address the the product based testing methodologies give more focus to product based uh, methodologies and you explore the possibilities also okay and this is uh, some of our results uh, results uh, results uh, during our early research okay when you talk about uh, different way we used the mesh the natural uh, mesh which is available in the coconut tree we used this is one of our very old research okay now now i am taking you to a, a need for optimization okay it's now it's a fiber weight percentage going on increasing the fiber now there is a, a particular domain performance is increasing then started decreasing now before starting your basic uh, uh, i mean uh, research you you need to understand uh, are you in the uh, plateau or are you in the peak these things need to be addressed that need to be ensured perfectly now sometimes understanding your practical issues you may be uh, uh, in this particular uh, domain you are finishing your work or by over enthusiastic you wanted to add more fibers you may be in this domain and you are missing out a better performance so try to explore the possibility this will be the initial step for all researchers even a high very high performance pa pa a polymeric composite or a metal matrix composite when you wanted to work try to understand Uh, where, where is the optimum, or where is the peak, or where is the plateau? You are able to get it. Understand that logic first. Then you concentrate, explore these possibilities. Hopefully, here we are getting the forty-five eight percent. It seems to be good. Still, like what I can do, maybe forty to fifty. I can do a, a analysis. Maybe a forty or forty-one or forty-two up to fifty. I can do. I may be getting a good result with the forty-seven or forty-two. I do not know. Okay. now after confining these things then you go into the next level of your research see sometimes when, when you are not confident about the initial research uh, we will will be having issues in your end result somebody is questioning you okay how do you ensure this is a, a correct result or how do you ensure this optimum result uh, definitely you don't have any answer to the reviewers or to the examiners right so this is a kind of uh, uh, different stakes okay so uh, for example you use a natural fiber and a glass fiber com combination okay so different layers uh, this is the initial step to enter into the layered composite this is one of the new composite okay it's like a uh, is maybe a, maybe like some layers could be a sandwich kind of uh, kind of thing so it's a sandwich composite okay i can introduce a honeycomb structure i have shown somewhere here okay so before entering uh, i i think uh maybe we have another 10 uh, minutes more okay i'll try to give as much as possible to you uh now here uh, for the people those who are uh, new to this field uh, see the whenever they are coming to use our facilities the basic question many times uh, they are asking sir what is the uh, astm standard now nowadays in astm standard uh, awareness is getting much increased okay so could be a tensile strength please understand your astm standard normally it is a 3 mm okay if it is 3 mm just imagine i'm giving more layers into this i need to give more pressure so this number of layer is going to fix your um, uh, pressure range if i'm giving a very low um, uh, very less number of layers then it is fully covered with uh, matrix now there is no much, much role of this fiber into this uh, uh, domain okay if it is more on uh, fibers then the amount of uh, uh, matrix comes uh, very less again we have issues so that is the reason i said optimum need to be explored right 
So this is the one uh, slightly into the technical. This is scan, uh, scanning electron microgram of our a fractured sample. See, normally even you search the literature, they call something as the fiber pullout. Okay, clearly you can see this is a fiber. This is a matrix. See the gap between the matrix and the fiber. See all the researchers, most of the researchers, those are working in this particular domain. They wanted to minimize this gap only. Okay. So even uh, last 10 years, we are also working one of our major domain is to minimize this gap. Okay, so there is a very good scope. Uh, you can understand this by seeing a proper uh, SEM based analysis, you can do it. Okay, see how this gap, this gap, how I can minimize. So this uh, minimization of gap leads to activation of your fibers, activation of your polymers. Okay, and uh, crafting of your polymers a type of polymers which you are using or uh, any uh, secondary element to be included any uh, adding uh, addition to be given to the system so it, it uh, this gap is giving many research possibilities into the uh, field okay could be a uh, impact test okay or uh, see uh, quite surprisingly this is a fiber actually this is a fiber one fiber uh, we enlarge see this is a uh, this a, uh, we take a fiber you can get this arrangement so this is a load, load acting direction. So this is a pendulum movement. Now see the shear which has happened to the individual one. See here it is round shape. See the, here it is like an elliptical shape. So ellipt elliptical shapes are uh, getting here. That means the round shape uh, fiber is getting impacted and it is absorbing the energy and become elliptical one. This is the main, main reason why it is able to absorb more impact energy uh, when you go for the uh, natural fiber composite. Okay, so natural fiber composite, when you're wor working into that, we need to think about a matrix crack. Even see the matrix, this is the matrix, this is the matrix, okay? Almost it is cracking. Just imagine there is a fiber which is in between, which is uh, creating a bridge. Now fibers are bridging between two matrices. Uh, so what happens? When I can, still I need to give more load to break the fibers. It's not one fiber, it's not one direction. I can have with a different orientation, okay? When we are with a different orientation, ultimately I'll be increasing the strength and uh, unimaginable strength you can able to increase. So a good kind of focus on research here is possible on the orientation, on the meshing, on the meshing direction, okay? So this is a tribology is another one uh, big uh, domain. Okay, even in this uh, one, we got this uh, uh, tribological unit uh, in our uh, earlier uh, research grant. Hopefully, uh, using this one, around 20 uh, research scholars from our institutions and minimum of 50 research scholars from other institutions got benefited out of it. Okay, so that much utility is there for the, the one. And uh, it is possible for you to understand the weir tracks perfectly. So always I'm saying I'm coupling one uh, mechanical characterization with a scanning electron microscope, okay? So these two are uh, unavoidable. So I, I, I can get uh, value of uh, strength. Okay, I should understand why the strength comes like this, okay? Even I wanted to find out reason for this, I need to go into the SEM analysis. Not only SEM, there are multiple analysis which are there, okay? So this is after some treatment, see the, uh, sorry, See the debris present here is, uh, is full of debris, okay? See, uh, in a wear, wear mechanism, normally it is adhesion wear. The problem here is, so this is a, a, a one, 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 I have a specimen here, okay? We can load it. Now, the load which I'm giving, and it is rotating. What speed it is rotating, how much travel it is taking. This is the basic thing in the, uh, in the wear, 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 tribological aspect. Now, the important thing is, I'm checking the interface. See, this is a, a belt. This is the one uh, on this I'm keeping my specimen. Now we take the specimen and uh, initial rubbing, it is an adhesion. After some time, some debris are formed. Now what happens if I have some hot particles into this, so it's the specimen and we have debris, then we have uh, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, rotating uh, uh, plate. Now what happens, it is not only adhesive wear, it is abrasion wear. So it's a complex kind of mechanism can be explored. 
see it's a very basic things i am mentioning there are uh, very fantastic analysis can be done with the help of this one okay you can see the relatively removal of uh, debris okay so these are all the characterization you cannot avoid when you are working in the field of composite okay you need uh, uh, scanning electron microscope for a fractography and this is a common question asked to, uh, whenever they are sending sample to us the dimension for our our sem is 20 uh, sorry xrd is 20 cross 20 and the sem is 15 cross 15 and the ftr the ftr is very much essential to understand the oh and the bonding okay which is a vital one uh, when you are working in a polymer uh, uh, composite okay this is a one uh, with a drop test it can be done okay so corresponding ASTM standard also this uh, uh, PPT is shared with the organizer. Hopefully, I don't have any hesitation to share the PPTs to all the audience here. Okay, organizer can share it. Uh, see, uh, hopefully, uh, I do not know. I cannot continue more than that because the time has come out. So let me conclude uh, by giving uh, some tips to you. Uh, maybe one part I initially said a kind of collaboration. Now the collaboration uh, is welcoming to our institution also. Uh, see what are the facilities, what are mentioning, these are the facilities available in our uh, composite center, okay? People you wanted to co combine with our composite center, okay, you can write to our composite division head. And uh, uh, if you're really interested in research, uh, it is possible. And then more thing, through our international research center in composite and material division, we are giving internship to uh, UG level students. If you have a bright student uh, who is really interested in research, uh, you can uh, you can ask them to apply here. We are giving stipend to those students monthly ten thousand uh, sorry five thousand rupees as stipend and uh, food and accommodation we are giving free of cost for one month or two months. Okay, so these opportunities are there, and uh, even we can work with uh, relatively. Uh, laminated composite, fiber metal laminate, or honeycomb structure composite, some advanced level of composite also we can able to explore. Okay, since the time has crossed, uh, I would like to uh, thank, I just, uh, uh, it is a, uh, still more things are available. Hopefully we'll meet again uh, with uh, some other lectures. Okay, uh, let me thank, or uh, I need to give acknowledgement to a few people. Uh, we are very much thankful to the Department of Science and Technology, okay, who has given uh, enormous amount of funding to our uh, scholars, our uh, researchers in Kalasalingam Academy of Research and Education. Okay, uh, thanks to our management who has created, spent more than uh, uh, seven crore for uh, material research. Okay, with the support of management, we are able to get good funding outside and inside also. Thanks to our collaborators within the country and outside the country, whatever the results I have shown to you, it's not only uh, derived from our own institution, which is the contribution of our collaborators also there. Okay. So uh, last, I would like to thank the organizer, Mr. Dinesh. Uh, for, uh, thanks for inviting me, the HOD of mechanical uh, and uh, the principal and the management of RSO Engineering College. Thank you. Thank you. One and all present here. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you for your uh, wonderful and uh, awesome speak. Uh, it's uh, really uh, an eye-opening uh, session for all those who are uh, 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 an active aspirants of uh, doing the research in uh, composite uh, materials. Uh, being a budding research scholar, uh, uh, scholar, uh, I took it personally. Uh, personal, uh, personally, I would like to thank you uh, for uh, giving such wonderful, informative session for uh, all of us. Uh, sir, uh, uh, if you don't mind, uh, some of uh, uh, some important questions have been started out, and uh, could you please uh, clear for uh, for the sake of understanding to our uh, participants, sir? Could you please? Yes, please, please, please. Yes, uh, uh, I'm reading the questions. Yes, please. please. Uh, sir, someone, uh, Mr. Naresh Pian, uh, has asked, uh, sir, how is the scope of doing research in machining of composites? Which one? Uh, uh, the scope of doing research in machining of composites. Uh, okay, uh, I am not much clear in the which composite he is talking about. Is okay. it on metal matrix composite or polymer matrix? If the audience, if the participant is there, can you unmute? Uh, actually, uh, okay, 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 okay. uh, there will be a problem. Uh, yeah, no, the, issue, no, no, no issue, no issue. See, uh, both the things I can uh, give you. See, there are uh, machinings. 
maybe as i mentioned earlier hopefully my own mtech thesis which i did in 99 is a machining of composite in the aluminum uh, metal matrix composite okay but uh, uh, even now people are working in uh, uh, machining domain but this one is having a slightly different perspective per 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 in a different angle people are working even we, uh, we do have a machining center we are also working with a composite uh, machining and let me uh, uh, confine to polymeric composite because the challenges are still available in ceramic matrix composite and uh, metal matrix composite yes you can do yes you can yes you can do yes you can do uh, please hold on sir please hold on sir sorry no, sorry no, no, no issue no. absolutely no issue okay so uh, you can do a, a research on uh, machining of composite but the problem is when you uh, enter into the composite machining don't go into the conventional way like using a l9 orthogonal array l27 orthogonal array doing a machining parameter optimization don't jump into that one try to explore the uh, minute portion of machining see for example even now uh, we tried uh, cnc machining as well as abrasive uh, due to time delay uh, been time issue uh, time constraint i couldn't uh, show that slide yeah, we did uh, machining of uh, natural fiber composite using a cnc machine as well as water jet machine see as you are all aware the biggest issue of uh, water is i mean natural fiber is uptaking the water so we tried in a different way okay fine when you do a water jet machining how the uh, performance of the composite is uh, differing so we got a encouraging results and uh, the dimensional accuracy of uh, different machining will have different insights so definitely the participant can go into that research but only thing uh, he need not go into the conventional way of machining okay so he need to understand see for example the signal processing is entering into the machining part it's not only a normal machining parameter optimization understand the signal okay i uh, see uh, in previous kind of machining people were talking about tool wear rate or material removal rate these are all the conventional way hopefully with our undergraduate level students you can try but for you uh, your things uh, I mean, if you are planning for a phd kind of things uh, please enter into the signal processing get signals and you process it and you will get a wonderful result not only in the machining part even you go, go for a tribology and one of our group is uh, Uh, working in tribology is a very strong group and our university is closely working with uh, thailand as, as well as uh, uh, ghent university uh, uh, ghent university belgium belgium is the ghent university is the world leader in tribology okay uh, so uh, people started working in a condition monitoring as well as signal processing so explore that possibility still machining uh, of composite we have uh, possibilities definitely you can go thank you sir thank you for your query uh, uh, clear uh, clear the query uh, query so one more uh, question uh, i think it's uh, uh, it's an important i think it's a uh, emerging uh, uh, field uh, uh, i would like to end up uh, with this uh, last question sir could you please sir yeah please please yes uh, sir uh, mr strijit yes noyer uh, has asked can you tell me the matrix and reinforcement which is mainly used for making composite parts used in medical application like of parts of bones elbow and teeth etc etc uh, medical applications okay see uh, i'll just answer it is slightly different uh, see the uh, he directly wanted to get answer see as a researcher he should not get answer straight away because there is not only one possibilities see you go for a medical application okay there are a number of possibilities are available even the injectable composites comes into picture when you talk about advanced level of composite in this field it is injectable composites which uh, played a vital role okay it's like uh, a biomimic uh, composites entered into this field okay so he need not uh, straight away go into the material what is the matrix what is the reinforcement it could be a very conventional thought process okay so this application he need some replacement so for his replacement let, it, let him understand the uh, the biology of that portion where we, 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 he wanted to work okay understand it properly and based on that let him uh, uh, come out what are the possibilities are there from those possibilities we need to pick up one it is not only one solution for a problem 
there are n number of problems and we need to identify and locate it so i'm very sorry i'm not giving a straight answer to his question because if he give, if it is a straight answer he will not do research he will do yes, only sir, experiment yes sir. yes sir okay so i am not encouraging someone to do experiment so if you want to do research okay let him understand the biology portion first and try, uh, there are much of possibilities even uh, we are working in uh, biological things and the bone uh, replacements also Pre previously when you talk about material there is a titanium titanium based composite it need not be only titanium uh, need not be only a carbon uh, carbon carbon composite okay very low co composite even uh, quite surprisingly natural fiber composites are also used okay so very good option actually the, this is one of the domain uh, we should congratulate that particular uh, person if he is really interested in this domain because this is one of the major domain he can attract uh, good funding as well as uh, uh, very good uh, quality publication very nice okay sir okay sir. thank you sir thank you so much uh... Uh, for your uh, wonderful speech in this uh, domain, sir. Uh, hopefully, uh, all the participants uh, could grab uh, could grab some uh, information about the uh, processing and characterization, characterization of uh, composite materials. And uh, I I, th I thank you once again for your uh, uh, concern, sir. Uh, it, it it will be uh, 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 yeah, because of your presence uh, present uh, the webinar. Uh, has reached uh, uh, at most uh, uh, um, a hit. Uh, I, and uh, here in chat box, I'm getting a lot of um, uh, appreciations and applause uh, from the participant side uh, pointing in your uh, technical talks. Uh, I will be, I, I, it will be a, a, a being, this is the first session uh, conducted on behalf of our department. Uh, I once again uh, thank our management, our principal, uh, vice principal, and Dean of uh, uh, Academics and our uh, HOD, sir, and all the faculty members uh, um, for rendering their uh, support and motivation towards uh, uh, conducting these kind of seminars. Uh, I hope uh, uh, this would be a, a, a good session and uh, eye-opening uh, eye session for all the participants. Mm, let me uh, meet uh, you all once again, all in uh, another uh, event like this. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for being with us, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Hello.